Hey guys, it's me again. I'm just in for a quick soldering tutorial again. Um, every one of you had uh, the tedious work to do to solder um, these adapters to cables. And I figured I'd just show you how I do it because it's a task where uh, a third hand would come in handy most of the time. Um, I just remove the insulation from the other side Oop, cable here is already spliced up <clears throat> so I twist it together again so the key as always is to pre-solder your cables Oop, let me just get my solder real quick when pre-soldering bars, I just put it like that, bend it upwards and heat my cable and touch it with the solder so it's nice and wet. I'm cleaning the excess off after two or three wires done. When there starts a drop of solder forming down there, which gets in my way. Okay, all the wires pre-soldered. And now for the pin header, the main problem is that when you try to solder it, you need to bring in uh, the solder from one side and your cable and hold it in straight and that can be really annoying when soldering a lot of pins at once. So what I'm doing is I just wet my soldering iron so the heat transfer is better and I heat the pin touch the solder to it. That's something you shouldn't do it normally, but I want to do it this way. And then I cut off with my soldering iron a piece of uh, solder with the flux core in it and do that to every pin. Oop. Just enough to form a good joint. Be sure to <coughs> get off the excess. So, and now you got the other hand free to bring in the wire. Just attach it there. Oh, you can see. Um, I'm putting it down a little bit more. Okay, so just attach the wire to the pin and reflow the solder that's already on it till it forms a nice joint and you're done and you don't need a third hand and I do that to every pin bend it over a little and done perfectly soldered pin header and no need for a third hand that's what I wanted to show you, my technique. If you like this, please subscribe, rate and comment. Thanks, see you next time. Bye.